So can Republicans get on the same page in time to get these tax cuts done by August to the Daily Caller, uh, to Daily Caller News Foundation editor Katie Freights, former Bush 43 presidential writer Ned Ryan, and former D.C. Democratic Party chair Scott Bolden. Uh, Katie, let me start with you. Uh, they, uh, Gary Cohen seemed realistic, I mean, hopeful, optimistic, but mm -hmm. it certainly didn't feel like a, a, you know, a, a line in the sand that August is a done deal. Well, of course, but also, I mean, what are what him and Mnuchin, what are they supposed to say? Oh, I don't know, we'll get around to it when we can get around to it. Don't get your hopes up. They want to be optimistic. They want to make people have hope and be excited to see tax reform in the near future. And I hope they can get it done because that would be such a huge momentum boost for the markets, for the American people, of course, for Trump to say he's keeping his promises. So I hope, but August seems, you know, with Obamacare and everything else, it seems like it's pushing it. Ned, I get that uh, you know the, the President Trump is CEO, Chief Excitement Officer, and those in his cabinet have to follow <laughs> along with the pom poms. It gets us pumped up. But I guess on the other end of this is Mitch McConnell, the grandfather coach type, who's like, hey, you know what? Maybe it won't get done. So is, is Mitch McConnell when he makes these comments? Does it help or does it hurt? This is pathetic. I mean, Senate Republicans have been talking about tax reform and Obamacare reform since 2010. They've had seven years to figure this out. And now they're saying we're not sure we can pull this off. I mean, here's the thing. The thing that concerned me yesterday, Charles, is when McConnell's saying, well, I'm not going to commit to a timetable. That, to me, was very troubling. And I think, I mean, I've always thought McConnell's been part of the problem. He needs to get on board <laughs> with a Trump agenda and say, you know what? I think this is. I mean, sure, it's an aggressive timetable, but it's a reasonable timetable. You know, here's the problem, too. He's going to blame the Democrats. But here's the problem for McConnell. He's the Senate majority leader, and he needs to stop being afraid of the Senate parliamentarian and her interpretation of the rules and say, I'm going to come up with a solution. We can get tax reform done by August. Right. Here's the thing that Trump's going to have to do, though. He has <laughs> to realize nothing in politics moves unless pushed. If I were him, I'd have a serious conversation with Mitch McConnell and say, why don't you come down to the White House? Well, Let's have a little real politic that, here and say, listen, that, we love your wife as Se Secretary of Transportation, yeah, yeah, that but may we're happen. unsure at this moment. Well, let, me, let me bring in Scott, because I know the Democrats have pulled out the lawn chairs and the wine coolers, and you're just sitting back loving exactly. every minute of this, aren't you? I know they are. I agree with the moderate Republicans who are against the repeal of Obamacare, or at least against the Republican bill. But here's the other, other thing that you've got to pay attention to. You can't do uh, a, a global tax reform without getting Obamacare repealed. You've got to change the law, because otherwise you're going to drive the deficit up. So if you change the law and, and, and get rid of the taxes in Obamacare, that's about $600 billion estimated over about 10 or 15 years, then you, you can get to the broader piece so that it doesn't look like you're driving the deficit up as you reduce taxes across the board. Mitch McConnell knows that, but he also knows he can't get Obamacare done in the Senate right now because he's got a Medicare expansion uh, limitation. He's got every interest group out there, conservative or Republican, doctors, hospitals, saying it can't be done. Yeah, but people are going to lose I coverage. I think the biggest interest group are the American people who uh, overwhelmingly exactly. voted and, in November that and 80 it's not working for them. That may be true, we're have to but 80% it there. said otherwise, okay. unless you've got a significant replacement for it. Otherwise, well, they're going to hold on to Charles, Obamacare. They have five or six replacement plans, so we'll see which one they end up going with. Guys, they can't make up their mind. I know you want to come back in, no. we've run out of time. Thank you all very Thanks, much. Appreciate it.